In this video, I'm going to show you how to automatically change drop-down menu based on another cell's value. In our example, our goal is that a drop-down menu in cell C7 would change automatically after value in cell C6 is changed. And by default, it uh, doesn't happen, as you can see here. However, after application of a formula, it does change. So here is the month and in cell C7 we see that we have a drop down menu of months and if we switch to quarters in cell C6 we see that in cell C7 there is a drop down menu of quarters. First of all we will write and apply the formula and after that I will explain to you piece by piece the logic behind each step. As the first step, let's name the ranges. These ranges will be the basis for two of our drop-down menus. So number one, let's choose the values of quarter range. And here, uh, top left corner in the name box, let's give it a name. In our case, it will be quarters. So we can see that it is a name box and for for another range, we will give it na the name months. This is a really good thing to do because it will help us in, in uh, writing the formulas. It will be easier and faster to write the formulas if our ranges are named. Now let's click on a cell where we are going to have our conditional drop down menu. The, the cell is C7 in our case and uh, the next step is to click on data and data validation. Here we have to choose a list and here under the source let's write a formula. The formula will start with indirect, indirect, then we will continue with if formula if cell value uh, if the value of cell c6 equals quarter then we want to use the range with that we have previously named quarters and we have to use the quotation marks as well now else if the value of C6 equals months, no, sorry, month, then we're going to involve our range that we have previously named months. And again, we have to use the quotation marks. Else we want to leave the cell C7 blank and let's close the whole formula with brackets. Okay, let's now see if it worked. So here uh, let's let's pick month in cell C6. The drop down menu has months in it and let's click on quarter. Now the drop down menu in C7 has quarters in it. So yes, the application of this formula has really worked. Here's the full formula and now let's break it up piece by piece. Our full formula starts with indirect formula. And what indirect will do, it will retur return values within the specified range. So for quarters it will return the values within this range and we have to use the quotation marks as well so this is what will it will do and for months for months let's just copy the this uh, formula and change months quarters for months so it will return the all the months. 
The last component of our full formula is the if function. And the if function will be used to define which named range to return based on the value of cell C6. So if and now I'm not going to write it manually again. I will just copy it from here and copy, paste. And here I will remove um, the quotation marks uh, before our named ranges. It's only for the sake of this function here. Now you can see that if in the cell C6 we have quarter if formula returns the list of quarters and if in cell c6 we'll have months here we'll have months as well and this was the piece by piece breakdown of our full formula that was used uh, for the cell c7 under data data validation and here in the source box that's it. Now you know how to automatically change a drop-down menu based on another cell's value. If you found this video valuable, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. I will see you in the next video.